Welcome to the fifth part of the castle tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a few changes we have to do due to the new update 1.4 and I'm going to show you how to build the big tower in the back of the castle. So yeah, please enjoy and let's get started. Before we start we have to change something about the designs of the crenellations and the wall patterns down here. Since patch 1.4 we have corner stairs and they have been messing up the build ever since. So what I did, well first of all the previous design was that we placed those stairs like this and then an upside down row on top without the gaps here. Now when I do this today with wet patch 1.4 I get half a block of a connection line back here and this looks simply ridiculously ugly. So what I did to do something again it was that I replaced those middle stairs with a full block of stone brick. Now this way it doesn't look that good like uh, in comparison to the previous design in patch 1.32.2 um, but it looks better than with the corner stairs. As well we have to change up here in these middle parts where we had a uh, stair facing that direction. Um, up here as well. Another one is over here and another one I think was over here. I changed that. So uh, we have to get rid of those or basically exchange them. Then up here the middle block and in the window row has to be exchanged as well. And here's the same pattern again so let's just exchange that here. Same thing has to be done here as well. And up here on the beacon now we have this design which doesn't look like it was intended to be. So what we're doing here is previously placed an upside down stair here and a regular one there. Now we're just going to do the exact opposite and a regular one, blah, a regular one on top here and an upside down one here. One time all around the build and we're going to do the same thing here on the towers since it's the same design. Oops. And once we've done that, then the build is 1.4 ready, even if now it doesn't look as good as before, but almost similarly that's good. Okay, now let's start to build the actual big tower in the back itself. So first of all, I'm going to place two more blocks on top of here, so that you have one block free until on this block here the roof starts. Then you want to leave three blocks free here and place another pillar of blocks of the exact, exact same height here and then take stone bricks and fill them in here up until you have three blocks from the crenellations free here. Then you want to place one block in the middle here, the upper, uh, upper row with stone bricks here and then one block. So this is basically going to be once again the same pattern used on the walls but this time with the, with the stone bricks here and then you want to take a cobblestone, fill those blocks in here and basically when you're playing on for example Xbox or in older versions of course what you can do is to take the stairs and place them instead of those two blocks one regular one here and one upside down one here but since my, tutor uh, la, my tutorials are always about the PC version of it um, yeah I'm going to do it in this video as well well not, not necessarily PC could also play on a Mac, but <coughs> according from my comment just right now, you may may is maybe able to assume what fan I am in the PC versus Mac war, whatever. So well, basically you do the same thing here on this side, and then here I'm not going to do that in total. Once again, a pillar of stone brick, then the um, a pillar of logs here, and then the basic same thing on this side. So now, what you want to do here is to take two cobblestone blocks and place them on top of the crenellations in the middle of this segment of the tower, and take a cobblestone stair and place it on top. Same thing goes for this side. Now to yeah, to prevent having this transition, this transition, this one, 
derp. Um, you want to take a um, stone brick stair and place it upside down here. And here you can simply place this. I, s I seem to have forgotten that. Anyway, just place it like that. And on the other side, maybe I forgot that. No, here it's correct. Okay. And then you want to take cobblestone stairs and place two cobblestone stairs upside down every time on the outer blocks of the single single wall segments. And that's it so far. Now I'm going to skip the part of building this and we're going to build the next section of the tower. Well, and now let's build the midroof section in this tower. So first of all what you want to do is to take planks and place three planks across the cobblestone stairs, the upside down cobblestone stairs down here. Then take stairs, wooden stairs, and place one to each side and one in front here. So one here, one there, and one there. The same thing goes for this one. <coughs> and now once again two planks. Oops, two planks exactly here. Now I tried to do this part with the corner stairs from patch 1.4, but it didn't turn out quite well, so uh, it looked quite ugly. And so I'm going to s stick to the old, the old ways, old school. So yeah. Now simply to make the transition to the um, to the building across here, I, I still don't know what what to call this. Uh, I'm just going to call it Frank. So let's make the connection to Frank over here. So simply a plank here. And a, a plank against Frank, and then two half Franks. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway, now the next step is to take logs and place five of them. Well, basically, it's six of them, but you have to see five blocks when you're standing here without counting this one in. So basically, from here, let's just say six for six up. Now we're going to need to take away one, two blocks from Frank, so, or basically from Frank's roof. So one here. Hey, would you please? Thank you. So that you have five blocks between those pillars here. So basically, this is a square, as you can see. And now what you want to do is to take stone bricks again and fill in the walls, and all you want to is oh God. do this one block higher than the uh, than the pillars we placed earlier just going to do this on this side and oh god sorry for the awkward sounds got a real bad itch right now um, anyway so once you're done with that you want to take cobblestone again and leave one block free from the, the outside and one block in the middle and then place... hey! Uh, um, and place the cobblestone up until you have the same height as here so once again it's six blocks or basically five you can see from the outside so then it looks like this and then you want to take cobblestone stairs place two on top you want to take fences and place one fence on top of each of those wooden pillars even though there is no wall here um, and then you want to take regular stairs again and place three of them to fill in the gaps here and as you can see there is a nice connection between the tower the transition of the mid roof and Frank's roof and now simply what you want to do is to do the same thing on this side and on the side to Frank. So now let's bring in some detail and do my favorite part of the whole build. So first of all what I'm going to do is to leave three blocks free from this row on and then simply create a row of five stone brick blocks well pretty much at the same level like down there. Um, and of course one time all about the build, I'm not going to do that on the other sides. And now let's make my favorite part, the creeper faces right here in the tower. If you haven't, if, if you didn't notice in the um, timeline videos, there are creeper faces in this tower. 
and it happened by accident, but in the end it looked pretty cool. So, first of all, what do you want to do for that? And once again, this part got a little bit messed up by the new corner stairs, but I fixed it as well. So first of all, place stairs in the corners like this. Then two stairs, once, a once again with a back against the other one. And in the middle you want to place a regular stone brick block, just as well as up here. And now, first of all, an upside down stone brick stair like this, an upside down stone brick stair here, and then it's an upside down stone brick stair oops, beneath this upside down co uh, stone brick stair up here. So, once again, here, and there we go, we have a creeper face. And now, first of all, you want to take once again stone, a uh, cobblestone fill it in like this. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side once again and then I'm going to skip the rest. Not the rest of the total build but the rest of this part down here of course. So oops, once again let's pre-place those two blocks and then it's an upside down stair here, a regular one there, facing the other directions, upside down and regular one. Once again upside down, upside down, regular, regular, and an upside down one here, and an upside down one there. And... Now, cobblestone. And now, this is a matter of taste, so what you can do is to fill in those three blocks once again by using cobblestone, but I think since we have the cobblestone here and here, I'm just going to do this with the stone bricks again. I think this looks a little bit yeah, better with a little bit more variation up here. And now yeah, what you simply can do is to once again place two upside down cobblestone stairs here. And now I'm going to do the rest of the parts on the other sides and then we're going to get to the head of the tower. Up here it's going to be pretty much the same thing we did with the heads of the towers in front of here. Uh, first of all you want to take logs, logs, and place two logs, one on top of each of the upside down cobblestone stairs, of course on the other sides as well. And you want to place one log here and you want to continue um, until this pillar is uh, six blocks high. Six blocks, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are going to be the uh, reinforcing parts of the roof. And now what you want to do down here is to take cobblestone stairs, place them upside down, three like this. Then you want to place a cobblestone stair on top of the log, facing uh, with the with the taller part to be inside. Same thing here. Then you want to place another stair to the facing the other direction, out here, and an upside down one to the outside of that one. Then it's a cobblestone block in the middle and on both of the outer sides. And then once again a cobblestone stair placed regularly, uh, placed with the taller side to the inside and one regular one in the middle here. And then it's the same thing on the other side, so I'm going to do that quickly, so six blocks up, then three upside down cobblestone stairs here, two stairs, two more stairs, upside down, regular one, well oh, basically regular one, upside down, regular one, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. And now you want to repeat that on the other sides. Now before we are moving on to the next part, or to the final part, which is of course obviously the roof of the tower, first of all let's take some uh, fences once again and place them in these corners, just like we did down here. And what I almost forgot was to give Frank his roof, and for that we are going to take stairs, place them like this so that we have once again small crenellations here. And now, for building the roof, first of all, what you want to do is to take stairs again and place them 
one time all around these upper blocks of the log pillars. Now once again on these places I try to deal or to work with the corner stairs but when you're placing them here it's just way too thick so once again these corner stairs have not proven to be a huge improvement for my build so far. So then you want to take uh, planks and place them on top of the upside down stairs here and then continue by placing three half slabs to the outside of them, like this. Then one block more to the inside, it's a stair, then three planks in front of which you gotta place three stairs and one stair in the middle right here. I'm going to do the same thing here and well of course on the other sides of the roof it's the same but uh, I'm not going to show you that. Well at least I gotta do this on this side to make the roof look a little bit better in the end when I'm going to show it to you. Uh, this side I won't do that. At least not now of course. So then what you want to do is to take planks again and place three planks behind the stair in front of here and then one st uh, plank on top just as well as two pl uh, planks here. Hey, like that. And then to go on with the roof, it's one stair like this, a stair like that, and one stair on top here. So once again on this side, one like that, one up here, one to the side, one here, same thing here. One to the side, one up here, one up there, one up there, and one to the side. So, now the next thing you want to do is to take stairs once again and start building it like. Hey, <laughs> God, four misplaced. And the, oh, and the final one wasn't even right. Okay, pull yourself together, man. Okay, so like this, so basically we are going to take this pattern and just going to do that one block higher. So let's first of all place a plank behind each of those stairs and one up here and one in those corners which is pretty much here. And then once again it's a stair here, a stair there, a stair there, a stair there, blah 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 blah, you know what I mean. Like that. And here as well. Now it's a plank up here, two planks to fix, fix those holes. Okay, let, sorry, let's just do the part here as well. And then it's one stair here, one there, uh, one plank there, one there, one there, one there. So a diagonal row of three planks, just as well as here. And then it's one stair like this. And then place two more stairs so that you have a gap in the middle here. So not this way, so that you have two gaps here, but one gap in the middle. And that's going to be the same thing here. And then it's another stair to fix up the uh, another plank. Uh, I'm getting quite confused about stairs and planks right now. <laughs> so it's a plank behind of those. One plank here, one plank there. One plank here, one there, one there, one there. Like that. And then it's a stair, a stair. This time it's really a stair, not a plank. And on those you want to place half slabs. Then it's another plank, like that, and another row of planks, then a row of stairs, and then to finish the roof, it's a plank and a half slab. Well, and of course, on this side it's the same, I'm not going to show you that, due to lack of time. Well, and that was pretty much it. So, 
There's going to be one more video about this castle where I'm going to show you a little bit about the interior design, what you can do to make the interior look cool, but as I said in the previous videos, there's not going to be an awful lot about that. So from the outside the castle is so far finished and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ride so far and I'm, I'm hoping that you will ho uh, watch the other video as well. Um, if you haven't already, please check out my Facebook. Uh, there will be li a link in the description and so far there's nothing left to say but I've been Madness64 and as always please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will and I hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye.